Yo, welcome to this channel once again. The unbelievable wealth and influence of Naira Mali that shocked the likes of David O, Destiny Atiko, and other counterparts in the entertainment industry. I know in a modern day society these days, when you have so much money and you start doing things out of proportion, especially when the people cannot equate your source of wealth to whatever you claim to be doing. Most people will be like, okay, this person is buying a car of 200 million years. His music have not been able to generate 200 million naira in a year or in how many years time. People question it. People find it unbelievable. People think there's something behind this um, person that he is not telling us. Well, in the music industry, in Nigeria to be precise, the top people who have been able to make it to that success table are Whiskey, David O and Bonner Boy. In terms of success, these people have been able to balance and solidify their steps in the music industry in terms of their music streams across platforms, their YouTube views, number two, and also their tours, their adverts, and also their endorsement deals and their personal projects. And this has really pumped in so much money for these musicians. It took them years to find their step, yet at the end of the day, they got there and they are still pushing. And when you ask them, they'll tell you they're still in the process of these things. Now, I'm not saying if you're not on these people's level, you cannot make money in the industry. Yet, I'm saying if you are not pushing, pushing, well, there's no way the people could actually see you. Mrema actually got his own spot when he featured Selena Gomez, although he was moving very fast. Well, that aside, let's talk about the unbelievable wealth of Nara Mali that shocks so many of his colleagues in the industry. It's not because he's successful. I know in our society, when you make so much money, people start asking questions. Is he a rich artist? Is he into drugs? Is he into this? Is he into that? Yet, a lot of people are making this money in the right way, and they are still succeeding and thriving, while some people are into to illegal activities because that's what our society seems to be encouraging these days, especially among the younger generations. Well, story aside, before I continue, please follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and TikTok. Also, don't forget to like our post on Facebook and for more updates, click on the red subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Hmm. This is really an interesting story because it talks about Naira Mali's wealth that's so shocking to even his fans and other celebrities who are still yet to believe that in the space of how many years that he joined this industry, he's been able to achieve so much for himself in terms of property. Naira Mali just bought his tent house in Lagos. Naira Mali has a whole lot of land according to what he posted how many months ago scattered across Lagos. Naramali is still a landlord to over 100 tenants in top houses. I mean, the celebrity high class houses in Lagos. And he also has houses scattered in Aja and also houses scattered across the world. Now, when we're talking about his luxury and also influence, it's the fact that Naramali have always gotten away with everything in terms of influence. And a lot of people think this is because he's really, really close to high profile politicians and individuals in our society. When he was arrested by the EFCC, unlike EFCC who sees so many properties from a lot of celebrities that they've come in contact with, take for example the likes of Mo Fa, the likes of even B Lord, how they harassed them, they took their properties and today they are still fighting. Yet no one questioned Armali, no one even took his property, no one did anything about it. And now, let's look into the fact that Naira have been able to acquire so much luxury since he joined the music industry. Well, according to a fan out here talking about this Naramali's wealth, saying, Naramali is a very wealthy man. Aside from David O, Whiskey, and Bonner Boy, the three posters, poster boys of the Afrobeat movement, which is now a global movement, it was said that no other Nigerian musician comes close to him in terms of cash. He is unbelievably liquid. 
In Lekki alone, he owns more than 100 properties, which he rents out. In Aja, he is one of the biggest landlords there as he owns hectares of land which he has yet to develop. Hmm. The reason he is that rich is not because he sings better than his colleague. He does not join his colleagues who spend most of their time abroad doing music tours for Nigerians living abroad. He is an idor and does not have that time. His songs are lewd, so they are targeted at a niche. So not many people listen to him, by the way. The reason why it's so is because it was said that he allegedly runs a substance empire. So he uses his voice to sell the substance illegally. Hmm. Now, Zeno is one of the boys signed under Naira Mali who was said to be one of the mules that pushed the substance for him. Before this brohaha started, a lot of young boys in the street loved Naira Mali. They wanted to be him so badly. They want to associate with and identify with him. That is why he has a group of deranged, delusional followers who call themselves Malians. At the peak of the general election in Nigeria, Naira Mali came to say that he had 2 billion Naira in cash in the bank to give to any of the presidential candidates, and he was not joking. He meant it. Since 2020, Assis Fashola, known as Naira Mali, has not used commercial flight. He does not join the rest of the plebos and commoners to wait for a flight at the airport. He chartered private jets weekly and on average you need like 5,000 to 10,000 US dollars to charter a private jet for an hour trip in Lagos, Nigeria. Because of how unbelievable a liquid he is, Naira believed that nothing will happen to him. He has this philosophy that once you have money in Nigeria, you are protected by the state and a sacred cow. That was the confidence that gave him the audacity to hand more bow to his own downfall. He believes that nothing will happen to him, but Mobad appeared to be his final bus stop as Nigerians have refused to give up on the matter. They are posting tweets talking and doing anything they can to find justice for the young man and deservedly so. Hmm. Today alone, the management of Splash FM, one of the leading radio stations in Nigeria, has placed a ban on broadcasting Nairamali songs across all its stations, citing the ongoing investigation into the mysterious death of the musician, Mobad. Another radio station in Ibadan, Agidibo FM, has banned all songs from Naira Mali's Malian record on their radio. Over 900,000 people have unfollowed Naira Mali on Instagram since the whole madness started. Because of your outcry, Nigerian police were forced to set up a crack detective team to investigate the cause of Mobad deaths. You see, Naira is learning. And for the first time, in real time, in our own um, society, showing that no matter how wealthy you are, well, your money will fail and will not be enough once Nigerians in a greater number gang up against you. So let's not give up on the advocacy. Aside from this, Naira Mali owns a couple of expensive and luxury cars from his Bentley. Hmm. Porsche. Panamera owns a Mercedes G Wagon, owns a Mercedes Benz, the L Class, that's quite expensive. It bought his girlfriend an Evogue Range Rover. How many years ago he bought his brother an expensive Benz car? He's been sported in a Rolls Royce. How many years ago he bought his brother shoddy funds? A, a, a mansion of over 150 million naira. And let's now talk about his own properties. He said it when he posted his last that this is his tent house in Lagos and he owns land scattered across the country. And he also owns a couple of houses where people still occupy and pay him rent yearly in Lagos. I don't mean this square, square, square house, I mean expensive one. And in terms of cash, Naramali is also rich in terms of cash now how does he make his money is something that's too surprising the likes of david whiskey borna 
and the rest, no wonder Whiskey is seriously close to Naira Mali. Because this man have not given us like some kind of songs for quite some time now, although he's been singing. Yet we know that in terms of music stream, Naira Mali cannot measure up to those high standard musicians in our Nigerian industry. In terms of tour, he doesn't do tours, he doesn't do shows, he doesn't do adverts, and he also doesn't sign an ambassadorship deal for anybody. So how does he make his own money? Because we know that it's not only the music stream thing. Well, so many people are saying he does the illegal activities, yet we just don't know how true or precise this information is are because a lot of people, because they don't know your source of wealth, especially in a society like Nigeria, most people will tag you for doing something that you're not involved in. Well, a lot of stories have been sent out there about Naira Mali, but today I'm just here to talk about his own unbelievable wealth and also his influence influence that shocked so many of his colleagues because this is someone who is untouchable in the music industry despite the fact that he is not even on the level of them whiskey than the rest even Rema's level this is someone that have acquired top properties that even the likes of Davido cannot acquire you see Naramali's house when you put like how many together could actually portray Davido's property and even whiskey property itself in LA. Yet this is someone who is not really involved involved in the music business. Yeah, another um, um, ways which he makes his money from is his record label. Of course, as the owner of Malian Music, which has been able to sign top prominent acts like the late Mobad, Zinoleski, and other upcoming musicians. And Mobad and Zinoleski alone gave him so much streams. And these people, then they were at the top of their own game in the music industry because of their unique sound and also their unique personality. Well, that could be another arena where this Nigerian musician is said to have been making his money from. But for now, I do not know. I just make a contact and I say Naramali is one of those people who, if you combine Whiskey, Davido, and Bonner Boys well together, he is really richer than them. When I mean rich, he is rich. Don't forget that he has like two mansions in London which are occupied by his family and he doesn't disclose his wife's identity or anything. And Naramali had been living in London since the age 11 when he moved there to study for his secondary education and I think he's also a citizen there and he has so many privileges like the foreigners also. But one question, how do you think he makes his money? Well, according to this person that he makes it through selling substance and all that, I do not know how credible this is, but people will definitely talk when you have so much money and they don't know the source of your income.